Hi everyone, it's Friday the 19th of February and it's 4.30 in the afternoon. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off some uh, barricade lights I've acquired recently, along with some that I've made up using some lenses that I got from a friend of mine, and some spare lamp bodies, which are down here to my right. I'm moving my hands, but they're not actually on screen, so I don't have any idea why I'm doing that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start with the ones on the desk, and I've got another three on the floor in front of me as well, and then we'll get to the ones I've made up. So, on the desk I've got two lamps here that I got from the same friend I got those lenses from, and two doorman lamps here that I bought on eBay recently. So, We'll start with this one. This is an early Tildorn Pilot 360 with the word gas, because the gas board years ago used to use this. And that is actually embossed in the plastic and been painted black. Um, it's a bit faded, doesn't bother me. It's missing the metal handle, doesn't bother me. <laughs> um, but apart from the handle and this reflective sticker. I cannot see any difference with the later version. And yes or no, this one's got a blue lens. I just couldn't... well, this is the first one I picked up off the wall. Because I've got six of these, all with a different colour lens, and I just didn't pick the amber one up. But yeah, other than that, the only difference with these is, is this one's got the much deeper reflective sticker and a plastic handle. One of mine's actually broken over there. It got broken when we were filming. Accidentally, I might add. So, yeah, that's a nice little one to have. I never thought I'd actually have one of these, even in you know a little bit of a worn condition, because these are quite rare to find with the gas on. Anyway, the next one I got from him is another JSP Plasti Flash. Now, this is the third one I have. Uh, one of them's rather beat up and doesn't flash, probably got a bit of a dirty circuit and whatnot. Showing a lot of wear and tear, which I like. For some reason at the moment I've got a thing for worn out lamps and tail lamps. As you can see with these two and what I'm going to show you on the floor in a minute. I don't know why. I think it's because tail lamps to me tell a bit more of a story. But Anywho, I've got two of these in good condition now. A little bit worn on the reflective sticker, but it's certainly better than my other worn out one. And I actually really like these. The first time, and actually the last time I ever saw these in use at Roadworks, was when I was on a school trip uh, back in high school in London. So about, I don't know, 1997, 98, somewhere around there, maybe even 99, I can't remember the exact date. Somewhere between there, I went on a school trip to London. Might have even been a little bit earlier than that, actually. It might have been when I was in my last year at primary school. All I know is, I went on a trip with school in the 1990s, and I saw some of these at some roadworks. I actually quite liked them. So I've liked lamps since I was little. <laughs> I've always had an interest. Uh, Right, what's the next? I'm going to put that grommet there for a minute. The Dorman lamps, so I'm going to start with this one, I'm sort of working along really, aren't I? So, the Dorman traffic light was quite common back in the 80s and 90s as well. I remember seeing these at lots of roadworks. Not so much these ones because these were mostly 60s and 70s, but I do remember seeing quite a lot of these. Um, anyway, <coughs> This one had been on eBay for quite a number of weeks, maybe a couple of months. Um, and it was quite cheap, it was only 8 quid, plus postage of course. And it had the cone bracket, which I've currently taken off, it's over in the hallway, which is a bit chipped. Still usable, so it's got a couple of chips out of it. Um, and I've been thinking about it for ages, because I thought, you know, it's another traffy light. I really like my traffy lights. <laughs> I was actually trying to resist the urge to buy it, but it didn't work. It only worked for so long. And I think because I'm in the mood for buying 
tatty lamps at the moment. That's the other reason I bought it. Uh, this is also a steady burn. It's only, only the second steady burn amber version of one of these I've got. I've only got two. All the rest flash one way or another. They've either got flashing solar cell or just flashing. I don't even think the other steady burn I've got is a solar cell. No, I don't think I've got a solar cell version for the steady burn. But anyway, it's a little bit worn as you can see. Faded bodies and white blemishes all over it. Lenses, however, are in damn good condition. They've survived really well. But the body's got a few, uh, you know, working life bruises on it, so to speak. And I'm going to check, but I think this could be an earlier version of the Trophy Light because this bit that your bolt screws into is actually metal, not plastic. I believe a lot of mine, if not all, have got the plastic in there. I'm going to double check that. Um, I'm sure there's collectors on the groups that will be able to clarify that. So, uh, yeah, bought that one couple of weeks ago and this one I bought last week again it'd been on eBay for several months actually the price had been dropped by five pound in that time and still hadn't sold and it, this was another one that I was actually watching and kept thinking about and last week you know I got my money in on a Thursday like I always do me pip and whatnot and I thought you know what I'm in the mood for another tiny lamp. I really like these Dormans. Um, I'm going to buy it. So it did. I, uh, he actually had it set up as a buy it now or best offer. So I put in what I felt was actually a cheeky offer. I didn't think it was going to get accepted. I put 35 quid in. Ended up for 45. I offered 35. And within about half an hour, it was accepted. <laughs> accepted pretty quick so I was surprised for two things there you know surprised at how quickly it was accepted and the fact that it was accepted so basically for 40 quid I got this 40 quid postage it's got a bit of a worn sticker there could do with a new sticker on it but I think that just shows it's been used for its intended purpose um, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is a steady burn as well. Um, and I've only got one more of these that are steady burn. And I've got the Australian version as well. Now, there's just, I do know the story about how these lamps came about. Because I think, if I have any of my American friends that view my videos as well, they will recognise this as a D650. So the story is, for those that don't know, a employee of Dorman Smith, I can't remember what his role was exactly, was on vacation in the States. I think it was 1965. Yeah, pretty said it was 1965. And uh, he saw the Dietz 650 lamps in use in the USA at some uh, roadworks. And he came back to the UK and obviously put the idea across to his colleagues at Dorman Smith who bought thank you folks who bought the rights to De um, from Deet 650 to manufacture basically the Deet 650 here in the UK but under the name Dorman Smith Traffy Lamp and uh, Australia did a version of this as well the only difference I can see with the Australian version is it's got a moulded handle on the top of the lens. Which was obviously for the Australian requirements over there. I'm guessing that's why I had a handle. Obviously in the UK it wasn't deemed a necessary thing. <laughs> anyway, so a bit of a backstory with that one. But this is one of my favourite lamps to get hold of. But these are getting very expensive to buy. Because they are actually getting quite rare now. I mean, I think the first ones of these were over here in 1966. So, don't think this one is a 60s lamp. Could be, but it's got the plastic bit here that the bolt screws into, not a metal one. And I've got a couple of the metal bit. 
which I think are the earlier versions. But this one's got a top on it that doesn't want to rotate. But it is a steady burn. I'm happy that it's a steady burn. Until a friend of mine, who also collects, the same one I got these two from, actually pointed it out. I thought that was my only steady burn, but nope. I actually have two. Let me just... Uh, take a swig of that. So, again I was poking around on eBay. I've actually got his shop there, or his um, seller page up there that I bought these from. He had a job lot of these maxi lights. He's got several other lights on there at the minute. But he had these three up there as a job lot for £7 and they were all missing the bases. Um, and one was missing a circuit. Now, they actually had the wrong bolts in them as well, but that doesn't bother me. I actually had a proper one to fit in. I'm sure I've got some more somewhere as well. Um, but I had a base for one, so I've got one working, no battery in it, but it does work. And I think that's actually a steady burn, that one. Which I don't think I have. I don't think I have a steady burn maxi light. Not in the old style ones. Um, and I actually had a base. For the red one as well, which is working, it's got the circuit in it, but it comes up like an orangey colour rather than red. So I don't know if the LEDs have been changed or if the lenses were changed at some point, but I might rectify it, don't know yet. But this one, I have actually got another circuit that I could put in this, but it's broken, it doesn't work properly. And I think it actually originally came out of that one. Um, but I'll put a battery on, it doesn't flash, and it looks like it is meant to. Um, and it's extremely dim, even with a fully charged battery on it, so. But, uh, my friend who sent me these lamps up the back here, he's going to have a look and see if he's got the, a darker base for this and a circuit. Um, well, that reminds me, I need to find a couple of nuts. Because I've got another maxi light. That I've had for ages, which is over on the floor there, which has got the nut missing. It's meant to be a, don't know if you can see it, it's meant to be a square nut in there. Um, but it's missing from this one. That was there, I'm sure, that had the nut in it when I took the bolt out. And I think, when I've been moving it around here and I've sorted out the circuit and the base, I think a nut has fallen out and it's on my lounge floor somewhere. This one, I believe, actually got the nut in it. Yep, that one's still got the nut in it. But uh, that's a newer LED. He's actually got one there for sale. Decent prices as well. If anyone is actually interested, I will tell you his eBay shop name. Paul Barrington. No, Paul Barrington 2. Zero P A U B A double R I N G T O and then a number zero. Good feedback, good seller. These arrived pretty quick actually. And as described, you know, described as spares repairs basically. It's, you know, you don't really need a complicated description on these. I knew what I was buying. I didn't expect them to work. The only reason I say that is because there are people out there that will buy spares or repairs and then give you negative feedback because it doesn't work. Seriously, I've seen that in the um, one of the diecast collectors groups I'm on. One of the admins sold a job lot of corgi lorries, spares or repairs put lots of photos up showing the condition of them and very good description of what you were getting as well because I looked at the listing and someone messaged him complaining that they'd spent too much money on a pile of crap well it was basically advertised as a pile of crap if you looked at the description and read the title and everything which he obviously did <laughs> you know either that or he this buyer was a complete pillock and was expecting something better. I don't know. There is some idiots out there. Right. Make a bit of room. That one's actually still got a battery in it. 
Oh, so is that one. Well, I've got nothing to poke in the holes to turn them on. I've had these lamps in the lounge for the past week to do this video, and it's been doing my nothing. Well, I've been waiting for those maxi lights and the uh, trophy lamp here to arrive. And I didn't want to put all the other lamps away knowing I want to do this video. Okay. So. I've got two green ones now. That one's nothing. <laughs> I've got a highlight in amber. I've got another blue highlight there. And I've now got two of these <laughs> with uh, the ambers on the other side. That one I bought on eBay ages ago. Um, it was sold as an X Far Service lamp. So I'm guessing that some fire service in the UK requested amber and blue. That is just a guess though. Right. So, a friend of mine managed to get me, because I wanted to actually make up a proper one of these with the uh, white blanking plate, and he managed to get hold of someone that had one and bought it for me and forwarded it on to me so I managed to make two green ones now because he contacted me the other week and said you know he's got some more spare amber lenses and the amber lenses he had also had another one of these blanking plates so I bought those from him as well so I ended up with two more blanking plates and two amber lenses which allowed me to make another green one up on the um, highlights the only thing is that I I'm not happy about, well, the hanging clips are missing, which isn't a big deal, but it doesn't have the grommet there. That one's got the grommet for the button. Click, click. These two haven't. For some reason, these highlights haven't got one. And I'm toying with the idea of drilling out this, because that's where the switch hole is, and fitting one of these. You can um, buy these cheap as anything online. I think it feels about the same as that. All I would actually, you know, literally need to do is just find a drill bit as close to the size of that as possible and then drill out, pop it in. I don't know whether to do that. I don't know why Dorman hasn't already done that on these bodies. And as these were just like you know your standard highlight bodies, and they put these on at the customer's request, maybe if that's what the customer wanted. And they would then just take these and do exactly what I said I would do, and just drill a hole and boop. So I might do that. I've actually got one here that I can use, but I'd have to buy another couple. I want to buy another one from that one, and I could even do it on the amber one as well. Those lenses actually look brand spanking new. Uh, I can't remember how I managed to... Oh yeah, that was right, because I took a blue lens from this one to add the blanking plate. I decided to make up another one of these. Took it out the lens off and chucked it on here. In fact, I've got a blue lens spare over there. So if I could find another spare amber lens or another spare blanking plate, I can make another one up. I can either make another one of these or another one of these. Uh, I think that's it. I need to keep that there. I need a spade bit. I don't think I've got a spade bit that's going to be big enough for this, so I may have to get one. But I think I will do what I said and uh, put that on there. I mean, it's still got the traffic light holes there for the traffic light switch. As I said earlier, that's pretty much the difference. That's your highlight body. That's your traffic light body. So it's exactly the same. It's got the holes either side there and the holes there. <laughs> the 
for the traffic lights to switch is up here because they're 6 volt. Um, 6 volt, you can put two batteries in so you get double the run time out of them because uh, the batteries on a traffic light they're wired in parallel. So even with two batteries in there it's still 6 volts but it doubles the run time. Um, with your highlights, they're 12 volt and they're wired in series to get the 12 volts and these are actually meant to be a lot brighter and a lot more intense for daytime use as well as night use <clears throat> apart from that one which is another traffic light I've just realised it's on a highlight body I've just taken the sticker off in fact if you look on the computer <laughs> I've got one stuck on the computer I think I actually took the sticker off a couple of the, did I take it off that one or was it on the other side? Oh no, of course, that was already on there. But you see, exactly the same body, same sticker. It's just that one's been fitted with the uh, grommet. Maybe I could actually open this one up and measure that hole so I know what size. Because my button here is exactly the same size. Perhaps I should just measure that, to be honest. That'd be the better idea wouldn't it? Like I said these are cheap as hell and you can buy boxes of these on eBay of various sizes for about tenner. So I've got a smaller one up there but I don't want to put a smaller one on. I want it to look like it was released from the factory. So yeah I think I am actually going to go for that. If I haven't lost it in the meantime. <laughs> Don't know if I'll put one on the amber, I might just leave that one as it is. Well, bad drink. Anywho, <clears throat> that is it for this video. Um, may buy some more next week, so there may be another video coming up um, for barricade lamps. Don't know, I'm watching a few and I'll have a look next week and just basically to see what mood I'm in. Got an itch, my moustache is itching. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!